Yep. All right. Let's stay in. Uh, um, no, let's mix this up. All right. We're going to the WCC. Yeah. Oh, great. Buy, sell, hold. St. Mary's is a bigger threat to make a deep run in the NCAA tournament than Gonzaga is. Fanta, buy, sell, hold. Buy. Buy because St. Mary's defense at an extremely high level. And St. Mary's has what Gonzaga doesn't this year. Point guard play. Aiden Mahaney is fantastic. He's a Mitchell dude. Saxon makes terrific plays uh, for, for the Gales. They have a combination that makes them really difficult to face because they do guard. They're going to make you play half-court basketball. They're going to make you work when you're on offense. And then they've got great screening action. St. Mary screens as much as any team in college basketball. And it's almost like being a freshman, you don't know any better, but also opponents are having trouble adjusting to who you really are. That's what I sense with Aiden Mahaney. His Mm -hmm. level of control and playmaking and shot making late in the game against Gonzaga on Saturday night was that of a guard who can lead his team on a deep march run. This is as strong of a shot for St. Mary's to get to a Sweet 16 and Elite Eight as they've had under Randy Bennett. They're that good. They have a two-game lead in the WCC. The Gales are more dangerous than the Zags this time around. Mm -hmm. Theo? Does Randy Bennett get enough talk? Like, that dude has been amazing for for so long, guys. I mean, he's been there forever. Has he had opportunities? Sure, but, like, what's the point? I'm just going to be great where I'm at. Bloom where I'm planted. I'm going to sit and be great. And, yeah, absolutely. I'm buying the fact that because of what Fanta said, point guard play is still so important, guys. And I know Aiden's a freshman, but, like, so important, different weapons on a given night. Like, it's it's somebody different. You can make that happen. St. Mary's is better than Gonzaga. I worry about Gonzaga. Where's their consistent stream of offense? Where has been – it's just, can they win big games? Sure. I just don't know that there's enough firepower in the tank like there's been in recent years to where they can get all the way to the Final Four. Yeah, they don't have they don't have the same level of point guard play, right? Like, we right. talk about this all the time. Um, and people are probably sick of us saying it. We got to get the buzzer, T.O. Uh, but I gotta, I'm about to put Nolan, one in. Nolan Hickman is, is fine, right? Like, he is going to be a good college basketball player. He's not Andrew Nemhard. He's not Jalen Suggs. He's probably not Kevin Pangos. He's not what Nigel Williams Goss was. Like when they've been at their best, they've had absolute killers at the one. And they don't have an absolute killer at the one, which is a problem when you have a team that is never going to be elite defensively. Like Drew Timmy's not a guy that's going to be out there um making sure that you're a top 10 defense in America. He just isn't. He's he's out there to score. He's out there to get buckets. He's out there to be able to help you put up 90 every single night. And mm-hmm. when you don't have the uh, the perimeter pieces to be, allow you to put up those 90 points every single night, it kind of limits what you are. I, I think I also think the St. Mary's team, they got a little bit of Virginia in them this year, right? Where they're really going to guard. They're going to play at a pace that makes it a nightmare to kind of deal with them. They make enough threes that uh, they will be able to, they, they force you to guard them. They force you to run them off the three-point line. They got two guys that can make plays in their backcourt, Aiden Mahaney and Logan Johnson. Um, and they're so good at kind of gapping you and 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 taking away what you want to be able to run, right? They kind of t- force it so um, they uh, – for I don't know how it always works out, but they're always like one of the leaders in uh, a defensive assist rates. So I'm very impressed with them. I'm all in on them. I would definitely buy them over this Gonzaga team. And, I like, look, I think it says a lot about what Gonzaga is as a program that they are sitting here at what 21 and I think it's 21 and four, 19 and five. They're sitting at 19 and five. They're eight and two in the WCC. They beat in Kentucky. They beat in Xavier. They beat in Michigan state. They beat in Alabama. And we're like, yeah, you know what? This team, they really aren't all that good. They're like yeah. a top 15 team in America. And we're yeah. saying that this is the down year for Gonzaga. It tells you all you need to know about where that program is. 